Good morning, how's everybody doing? It is Friday morning, 10.30 a.m. Very hot, it's gonna be lovely and warm today, which means out, getting out there as fast as possible uh, and enjoying the sunshine while we've got it. We don't get it very often here in the UK, it's normally dreary and dark. Today I wanna to tell you about a little website that actually I hunted on Steam Hunt because I found out about it, I think via Dale or somehow, no, it was Pensive, that was it, it was Pensive who gives us a hat tip on this one. Uh, freelance work paid for with cryptocurrency. So I've been banging on for a while about there's a, a disruptive element for a blockchain powered, cryptocurrency powered upwork. I think there's just such an opportunity there for people to do micro tasks. And I know a lot of people get frustrated with kind of the DTubers and the content that's on there. And I think it could be a perfect way of task oriented payments for things that you need done in the real world digital world um and are willing to pay a small amount of money to get done so not taking them away from posting on dtube but maybe like incentivize them into work that you want to see in the world done rather than video stuff that you probably have a quality issue with that's me being political there i guess um so what is freelance for coins it's it's interesting because it's uh, you you submit either into any of those categories that they have so they have a bunch of different categories that you can um, post your offering in so for instance i've just logged in so what happens is i get bumped to the first place that happens every 20 minutes so people get to see your listing uh, dale uh, has been incredibly successful with this platform she does vo work on there she, she does vo work and is top one percent seller on work but Obviously, checking out these new platforms, getting paid in crypto versus Upwork, which can take anywhere up to seven to ten days uh, to get paid. The idea of being able to get paid in crypto is kind of interesting. So this is a, a perfect example of what I consider to be a good profile. And I've copied some of the ideas from here because I think they're brilliant using emojis and things like that. And also putting a profile pictures along the bottom of VO stuff and work she's done. And we've been through the process of doing it. We've actually tried it. The communication thing works really well. The invoicing part of it works really well. You get paid in Bitcoin, I think it is. Um, but what's interesting about this is that the the people behind this site have also launched a separate little project. And that separate little project uses um, the methodologies of Amazon Mechanical Turk. So an on-demand 24-7 workforce. But instead of it being paid through Amazon systems, it's done through crypto. So... It's not completely launched yet, but um, this little app that you can download, if you do a search for Taskopus, I think it's taskopus.io. And this is this could be uh, a way that uh, the Steam blockchain could go in terms of paying for microtasks, because obviously we can pay people zero fees within three seconds. So they use Bitcoin Cash. I hate Bitcoin Cash, but regardless of hating Bitcoin Cash, that's what they use. It's fast uh, and it works. So the app is like run, runs on a little X, uh, runs on the, I was going to say Exodus, but it's not Exodus, it's uh, Electron. So it'll work anywhere. And it's very, very simple. So I'm going to step through some of the things that I've already done in it. So obviously you've got like a homepage for updates and things. Tasks, notify me when new tasks appear by changing the tray icon. Also with desktop notification with sound. So anytime some tasks come in, you can claim a task and you can do it. So I've been through the initial testing phase of this. And some of the questions were really interesting. So there was a task to extract keywords, find some contact info, find contact information for a user, complete a sentence that they sort of um, give you certain parts of the sentence that you have to fill in. What do you do in your free time? Fill the form in, take a screenshot, acceptable ad, and you get paid a very, very small amount of BCH for it. So this probably equates to like half a steam or something like that. So it's not a lot of money right now because these are just testing things in terms of scalability, I presume. They have these tasks for everybody who joins up signs up to it um i really like this these are the questions that these are the answers that that i did have you ever used cryptocurrency do you have a pet or multiple pets and so this to me is interesting because instead of us just um upvoting people we can use some of our steam balance if we did this for steam we can use this our steam balance to in incentivize people to do certain actions for us on chain so, for instance, with Steam casting, I would love to be able to pay people not only in vlog tokens, which don't have a value right now, so probably less of an incentive for people to, to do it, apart from stacking those tokens in the hope that they have a value. 
compared to this where they're actually going to get paid out a certain amount of money if they complete that task. So if I want somebody to find me 100 tech bloggers on YouTube, I might want to pay five Steam for that. And then they go off and get me the URLs or the addresses, contact details. So micro tasks, it's taking the Mechanical Turk uh, ideology of small little micro tasks, thousands of people, low amount of money. Um, and obviously there's a quality there that that of answers that you're going to get back but then you can like do different levels of questions and answers so you might be able to say uh find me the details for this and then you do like an average of how many people gave the right the same answer chances are that answer is going to be correct i know that sounds super complicated i've overcomplicated it but basically it's micro working micro tasking in the cloud getting paid in digital currency and you can see at the top here i've got the ability to back up my wallet to deposit bch in there so if you are holding any bch you could just load this up i wouldn't suggest doing that right now because this is an alpha and things go wrong um but you could load up some money and set up some projects some tasks so you can create a project here and then pay some amounts of money in it and then you can also do withdrawal as well so you can just take that money out and send it to anywhere on the web we need something like this for steam hunt there's a whole uh, for not steam hunt well you could do it for steam hunt as well actually for the products or review hunt review hunt on here would be amazing so I, I guess I could buy some BCH and put those tasks on here and mobilize a user base of people. I could even use Taskopus for inviting people to their their other site, the Bitcoin site, because they pay $2 for every person that you bring to Freelance for Coins. So the guys who make this Freelance for Coins, the guys who make Taskopus make Freelance for Coins as well. So maybe we can invite people in, pay people $1 for getting people to sign up for here uh, and then get two dollars back so it's no brainer so i just love the idea of like micro delegation of tasks right because it's kind of it's almost like p2p it's almost like napster person instead of like peer-to-peer -peer, it's like person to person i put up a task this is the amount of money i want to pay for it and then you can have x amount of number of people to uh, do that task for you um so yeah that's it i just wanted to give people a bit of an update about it because it's completely in alpha right now but i'd love to see somebody uh, tackle this as a dap for the steam blockchain or talk to taskopus maybe email simon maybe i'll do that and ask him if he'll support the the steam blockchain um for taking payments Drifting slowly into an empty space.